What's up everyone, I'm back and today I'm gonna to be hopping into another awesome video. This particular video is about the Winchester Mansion, the story behind it, the ghostly stories behind it, the weird design, and, and kind of just the whole history of, about this house. So strap in and let's get right into this video. In 1886, an eccentric woman named Sarah Winchester traveled from New Haven, Connecticut to San Jose, California to start a new life. She purchased a small eight room farmhouse and started a small renovation project that would take 36 years and $5.5 million in the money of that time. Only stopping when she passed away in 1922. After her husband's death from tuberculosis in 1881, Sarah Winchester inherited more than $20 million, which is equivalent to $520 million in 2017. She also received nearly 50% ownership of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company, giving her an income of roughly $1,000 per day, equivalent to $25,000 a day in 2017. These inheritances gave her a tremendous amount of wealth which she used for her ongoing construction. By the time she was done, the Winchester Mansion was a modern marvel with indoor plumbing, multiple elevators, a hot shower, and central heating. It had over 160 rooms, 40 bedrooms, and 10,000 windows, and even had two basements. Also, something I just wanted to throw in there, how crazy money has evolved. I mean, they said she got $20.5 million, and that's equivalent to like 500 some million or 520 million in today's dollars. That's so absurd to even think of. Of course, that's not all that's unique about the house. Not all 2,000 doors can even be walked through. One leads to an 8-foot drop into a kitchen sink, another to a 15-foot drop into the bushes of the garden below. Staircases lead straight to ceilings, expensive Tiffany stained glass windows were installed in places where they would not even get light, and there are more secret passages than Narnia. Particularly odd delight is a cabinet when open extends to 30 rooms of the house. No one is quite sure why Mrs. Winchester demanded constant changes to her very large house. Of course, there are some stories. The biggest story is that Mrs. Winchester was being haunted by the spirits of those killed by the Winchester rifle which her late husband's company had invented. After her husband passed away, a psychic told her that to evade the spirits, she would have to move out west, buy a home, and build non-stop. Some theories say she believed that as soon as construction was complete, she would die, while other theories suggest she built the house like a maze in order to keep her paranormal tormentors at bay and lost in the many rooms of the building. As the theory goes, to avoid them, she would sleep in a different bedroom every night, and take very different paths throughout her own home. A massive earthquake struck the Bay Area in 1906 and toppled the top three stories of the house, while damaging the other four stories along with it. Sarah took this as a sign from the spirits that she was too close to completion and ordered the unfinished front half of the house to be boarded up. Though open now, signs of damage from the earthquake are still clearly visible. When Mrs. Winchester died, all of her possessions, apart from the house, were given to her niece and her personal secretary. Her niece then took everything she wanted and sold the rest in a private auction. It supposedly took six trucks working eight hours a day for six weeks to remove all the furniture from the home. Mrs. Winchester made no mention of the mansion in her will, and appraisers considered the house worthless due to damage caused by the earthquake, the unfinished design, and the impractical nature of its construction. My first kind of reaction to the house is, I think it would be awesome to live in it. I feel like it would just be a fresh house every day because it's so wildly set up. I feel like someone who didn't make the house, if I moved in, I'd be finding new rooms and new cool spots like every single day. Today, the home is owned by Winchester Investments LLC, a privately held company representing the descendants of John and Mamie Brown. The home retains unique touches that reflect Mrs. Winchester's beliefs and her reported preoccupation with warding off evil spirits. These spirits are said to have directly inspired her as the way the house should be built. In response to the ongoing claims of ghostly encounters and other paranormal phenomena on the property, in the early 1990s, the Winchester management had parapsychologist and paranormal investigator Christopher Chacken conduct a full-scale scientific assessment of the property. The month-long, 24-hour-a-day investigation included interviewing over 300 people regarding their experiences on the property, and used state-of-the-art technology that analyzed every aspect of the environment for any unusual activity. Also, a quick little fun fact, the Winchester Mansion and Sarah's story are featured in the 2018 film Winchester, and Academy Award winning actress Helen Mirren was taped to play Sarah. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you like to live here? Maybe just go, maybe just stay a night or two just to see what it's like or just go for a visit. But let me know in the comments down below and I'll be checking them all out. All right, everyone. I think that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed everything that there was to hear about the Winchester Mansion, the stories, the design, you know, like the physical house. And let me know in the comments down below what you think really happened to Sarah. If you believe in paranormal stuff, maybe it was just a mental disorder. Maybe it was who knows but just let me know down in the comments like always please like comment subscribe and turn on the bell and I will see you in the next video later